So, who are you? I'm Xavier Cortada, and I'm an artist. I work with scientists a lot in my art making, and I do that, and I work with scientists to um, help do a handful of things. One, I like the idea of having our society be more uh, literate from a scientific point of view, right? For them to understand our worldview uh, can and should be shaped by science because in every way that's what's been moving humanity forward for a very, very long time. And sadly, uh, today, especially in this country I love so much, so many Americans dismiss science. They uh, don't value it. In fact, some are even hostile towards it. And if through my art I can broaden uh, the worldview, the perspectives of Americans to understand that science is part of what they need to be able to see themselves, their place in this world, and their way of acting and moving forward, then I think uh, as an artist I'm doing my job. So a lot of the science work I do, I do with scientists in a whole variety of locations. I've worked with a, with a molecular biologist in having 400 volunteers. Let me do that again. I've worked with a molecular biologist in having 400 museum visitors sequence a DNA strand, which we cloned into E. coli and put in a museum exhibit. I've worked with population geneticists to help us understand how we as a species uh, came to populate this planet in response to the environment. I've worked with uh, physicists at CERN to help celebrate a great discovery, the discovery of the Higgs boson, and to um, help validate the life work of 4,000 people who made that discovery happen, and those whose uh, shoulders they stood on this work of scientists over the last centuries to get to the point where we are today. So my art does these kind of things, and it's also art that uh, has a purpose, art that has a job to do. So a lot of the work I do uh, involves working in ecosystems, uh, helping uh, reforest uh, urban spaces to bring wilderness back in through planting of hundreds of uh, native trees to regrow our tree canopy, planting hundreds of wildflower gardens across the state of Florida so that our pollinators have a way of surviving all the changes that have befallen that state since uh, Ponce de Leon landed there 500 years ago and named it for the very flowers that no longer exist. I've planted acres of mangroves in collaboration with a science museum as a way of not just restoring our wetlands but of having the volunteers who plant those mangroves understand their role in caring for nature at a time when we have so destroyed nature's ability to be wild, particularly in our urban areas. So working uh, with scientists, working with practitioners, and community with universities and society, I use art to engage others in serving their civic duty. And by bringing science into the equation, uh, it serves more than a muse. It serves as a way of looking forward. Yes. So which part of the country do you call home? I'm an artist from Miami. Uh, since age two and a half, I've lived in Miami. Uh, I uh, am particularly interested about Miami because Miami is the city most impacted by sea level rise. So I'm working with LTR scientists right in Florida at the, fo at the uh, uh, Florida Coastal Everglades LTR, looking at the work they do with diatoms as a way of looking how sea levels have changed over the millennia. Um, how that happens in the uh, Florida coastal Everglades, and how sea level rise is going to impact our urban areas, but as importantly, uh, the organisms, the animals, the plants that we have co-evolved with in this planet, and how adaptation is or isn't going to happen with rising seas. So Miami, in many ways, is more than my home uh, and my laboratory. It is my heart, and I try so hard to uh, engage fellow Miamians to understand their role in loving and caring for their city and doing it through the prism of art, the perspective of art uh, uh, and science. Why are you here <laughs> at the Nevada Museum of Art for this workshop? So uh, this workshop uh, is a, um, a workshop that tries to have many individuals who, some for a short time and some for decades, have been trying to figure a way forward to bring the uh, science and the art perspective into problem solving. And I'm, um, I'm heartened to see so many people around the table, people who 
I've uh, known about for uh, a very long time and people who I'm just getting to know today and, uh, and finding some great fellowship with. It's important that we all come together and share our perspectives and also our failures um, along with our successes so that we can build a community of practitioners who know how to model this behavior, not just for other artists and scientists to follow uh, in our footsteps, but also so that the bigger and broader systems understand the value that we bring to problem solving by working together. Because the way things happen is things are funded, things are structured, and um, the success of many of the people in this room has happened in spite of those funding structures and in spite of the architecture of academia, the architecture of governance. So what we've been trying to do is build it on our own, show how we've succeeded, and try to have others follow that way. And, and, and there's nothing strange about that. Success happens at the interface in many ways. Uh, it happens, that's where life takes hold, the interface of life. The interface of uh, land and water is where, you know, life is. Uh, in, it, so in this case, the interface of art and science, I think, is an important place for us to look at this exploration, for us to see how, how we can thrive and we can grow. And I think the areas, the points particularly where uh, there is a, a role for artists and scientists to collaborate specifically um, are a couple, and that's what I think we've been discussing most in this meeting. One is the idea of what happens when an artist and a scientist collide. What comes from that interaction? I think in every way, scientists and artists are moved by the same uh, uh, passion that's beyond themselves. They see themselves as part of, uh, of a historic context. I stand on the shoulders of people who made art before. Scientists do the same. So every, everything we do today is in that arc of history. And we're just doing our part, learning from and adding to this conversation. And, um, and we can see that. We can see beyond ourselves and what our role is. I think artists and scientists um, have to innovate. They have to break what came before. They have to question it and start anew. And I think that there's a great uh, uh, fellowship. There's a, we're kindred spirits that way. There's a lot of uh, uh, support and inspiration that we can provide uh, one another in our respective fields. And I think that what I'm trying to do is find a way in which we can um, have us cohabitate in our working spaces, uh, in our practices, so that uh, we can show, we can showcase, we can evaluate how coming together and working together uh, can uh, problem solve in a more profound way than going at it alone. Uh, one of the big things I'm trying to do here is to uh, ensure that no one walks away thinking that an artist is an illustrator or a PR agency for science. That's not the value we bring. I mean, science can do 3D modeling of uh, DNA molecules, you know, on its own right now. It doesn't need that, and you can hire the best PR firm. There's something really valuable, I think, that artists uh, bring to an equation, their way of thinking, their way of conceptualizing, uh, their way of reframing issues, their way of trying to broaden uh, perspective beyond what perhaps a scientist is doing in, uh, in her laboratory. So that's one role that I think that, uh, that artists have uh, in this art science world, and that is how they collide, how they interact, how they work with scientists to do something bigger and better than they could do alone. And the second way I see it, at least, uh, in, in my work here is the broader uh, perspective, and that is how, uh, you know, what, what are scientists and what are artists trying to do? In every way, I think, through our respective fields, we're trying to move humanity forward. We're trying to uh, think beyond who we are today to, be, to build a better species, a more compassionate, a more loving, a more engaged, a more intelligent, a better species of human <laughs> being. And um, scientists do that by helping us understand the universe, how it works, how we fit in it, and I think artists allow us to also, in a very philosophical face, uh, understand that role and that relationship. And to see it from the perspective of artists. We, as artists, try to um, help guide society by breaking apart what may be comfortable but not quite true. And I think by questioning the science that came before, or questioning the comfort zone and having you receive things to a new reality are two things that we have in common. And artists have tools to be able to engage people in that conversation. 
Uh, the tools come from making the obvious strange. The, uh, the tools come from um, visualizing or depicting something that you wouldn't otherwise see. Uh, the tools come from a socially engaged practice where you as an artist serve as a choreographer, bring different people together to do things differently as a way of addressing an issue or putting light on it or, or mobilizing people into action. So I look at the role that artists have in, um, in this NSF world. I see the role that artists have in a laboratory, but more importantly, I see the world that artists and scientists have in this planet as one where uh, we can do a whole lot more if we stop thinking of ourselves as being isolated and, uh, and uh, apart from one another instead as, as, uh, as two disciplines that have a lot of commonality and can really effectuate some change. So last night, um, you made the comment that I'm in. Yes. Do you still feel that way? I, uh, last night at dinner, uh, during our social hour, we talked a lot about uh, how I was inspired and how I am in. And, uh, and in every way I've been in, uh, I've been doing this for, for over a decade, uh, in specifically working with scientists, and for two, uh, working in community. Uh, the reason I'm particularly in here is because um, I need it. As an artist who cares so much and passionately about the work I do, I need the fellowship of the individuals around this table and the support and the ideas, uh, uh, the, the resources, uh, the perspectives to be able to grow my career as an artist, to have me be more effective. So to, to an artist, a practicing artist who is in this field, an art science field, I need a community, a supportive community, so that uh, the work I do isn't just an asterisk or a project or an oddity, but it's the norm. It's a new field I'm trying to help uh, others move forward. So I'm in because everyone else in the room, I, I don't think I've ever felt as much fellowship in a professional, uh, really, I don't think I've felt that much fellowship. I mean, everyone here, uh, wrote the same hymn book, you know what I mean? <laughs> Everyone here gets it, and, um, and it's such an important moment, I think, uh, for us as a society to really tap into this, because the people around, you know, this room have the experience and I think the brilliance to really make a change, a change not just in what science does in America, but in how America does America, and I think that's essential for us. And uh, our public, public policy, our leaders, need to understand that, that there's a whole dynamic on how we educate our citizens and how we train them and the kind of jobs that we create by looking at things from a perspective of the arts and the science and to shatter this notion of this left and right brain that we are really these uh, integral human beings who can think and act uh, in creative ways. So the more we can bring a fusion of these two disciplines, have them work together as equal partners and move forward, I think the, the stronger a nation we're gonna build as we leave this to the next generation of artists and scientists, or as I dubbed, uh, scientists uh, <laughs> to create. Right on. Great. Well, thanks. Sure, it's my pleasure. No, you, great, super, fantastic. Yeah. So I'm gonna...